to our channel where we talk about life stuff. I'm your girl T. And I'm B. And today we are going to talk about how we met. How we met. Mm, Man. I love this topic. Now this one, wow. When we met. Mm, 1981. That takes us a long <laughs> way back. Man. Way back. Flintstones age. So, right. If you guys remember the, the cartoon <laughs> Flintstones, y'all might not even be old enough to remember that. But anyway. Anyway. So, we met back in, oh my gosh, I ain't going to say the year. I'm going to leave that for him. Anyway, I was about 12 years old and he was 13. And we met at a park. Now, this park was called Diamond Park in Oakland. Oakland, California, that is. And they had a swimming pool there. And me and my friend, but my play cousin, so back then, back in the day, you would have friends that you were close to, and they weren't just your friends because y'all was so cool, they was your play cousins. So you're not related by blood, but because y'all was so cool. So anyway, we went to the park, went swimming, and while we were swimming, we met two little boys, and one of them was him, B. <laughs> so, that's just to start off the beginning of where we met, which was at the park. Yeah, Diamond Park Swimming Pool, 1981. I remember it as if it was yesterday. Uh, it was me and my cousin. This isn't my play cousin. This is my real cousin. <laughs> <laughs> His real cousin, no play, my play cousin. Yeah, no play play. <laughs> You know, as a matter of fact, you know, he was the best man at my wedding. Okay. We'll get to that, though, later on. Anyway, um, yeah, we met at Diamond Park Swimming Pool. It was a cool mm, summer day. Now, I'll say cool, around 72. Well, hot enough to go swimming. Right, it was. It yeah, was nice and warm that day. It was, mm -hmm. now that I think about it. Yeah. Anyway, so we go swimming and stuff like that. So we spotted these two girls in the swimming pool and stuff like that. I was instantly drawn to her and her play cousin, <laughs> like the, my cousin, and so we did our thing in the swimming pool as kids having fun. So when we came out of the swimming pool, we were kind of like, <laughs> where they at? <laughs> and we were like, we right here, we right here. Because you know, when you go swimming and you get out the swimming pool, yeah. you may not look the same way you did you when know, you was they in. Were, they was ashy and everything, you know, that chlorine. And right, then, you know your hair kind of draw thing. all up and everything. The only thing that had your hair all because you had braids. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, the but, yeah, but they still looked funny, though. Their skin was all, you know, discolored <laughs> and stuff from the sun and the chlorine. It was real funny. Anyway, long story short, so we got the numbers and stuff like that. Lo and behold, uh, we're here today, but we'll get to that right now. Let's we'll just talk about how we met. That's how we met, though. Like, Diamond Park Swimming Pool. Right. 1981. So... We end up both going to different schools. We lived in different areas, so I would only see B on the weekend, and I would maybe talk to him on the phone. But remember, I'm 12 years old. To me, boys were still yucky at that time. Uh, holding hands with no boys, kissing no boy, and all that. Uh -uh, I'm good. So we would just talk on the phone. I don't know about school or whatever we were talking about. But we always still kept in touch, even though we didn't go to the same school. Yeah, um, one of the things that kept us in touch was um, the phone. And stuff. Back then, there wasn't cell phones. Right. They wouldn't even heard of. We were landlines. That's and, it. <laughs> yeah. Talking on the phone with the little like poorly just, cord. Extremely old. Anyway, so um, when I first visited T, she stayed over there uh, on Derby Street. Oh, okay. For the people that's from Oakland, California, uh, Derby is right off of, uh, East 14th, over by the Dubs. Anyway, so we go to different schools, whatnot, whatnot, and I don't know what happened. So right. we both kind of like end up going our own separate ways. Um, I was in one school, he was in another school. I end up meeting another boy, and that's who I end up being with for a lot of years until um, maybe my late 20s. 
20s, like maybe 27, 28. Mm -hmm. I end up having two children by him and um, we never got married or anything. So we were just like uh, high school, junior high school sweethearts or whatever. And B, he went on and uh, he got with somebody and yeah, I had two sons, no baby mamas other than the one. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but uh, that's a whole other thing. Anyway, um, yeah, life went on, and then um, what happened yeah, after that? so he uh, went on, and we went on. And so I had two children, and he had two children. And then we came back together in... I don't know what year was that like 90 697 yeah probably 96 97 somewhere around there and um, by this time I was like in my 20s like 28 yeah, yeah. 28, or maybe 27 29. yeah maybe 27 somewhere up in there but I was in my 20s and um, we got back together again so this is our second time from you know the getting together pool. Yeah. right yeah so the first yeah. time was I was 12, he was 13, and the second time we both were in our 20s. So we got together again, and we were together for maybe about a year and a half, maybe? Maybe a year and a half, and... Um, maybe two, yeah, I think maybe about a year and a half. Mm, and things Life started just, life. Yeah, life started <laughs> life and again, and it just didn't work out. He wasn't really ready, he wasn't... Um, ready to kind of settle down as much as I was. He still had like a lot of stuff going on in his life and it was just like this is just not working. Yeah. Um, and I was getting out of that relationship that I was in with uh, my kid's father and that was a really toxic relationship that I was in. It was just not a good relationship whatsoever. So to get out of that relationship I had zero when I say zero tolerance, I mean zero. I wasn't putting up with nothing. So anything that B had to bring, and if it wasn't all good to me, and as far as I was concerned, I, I wasn't having it. Well, you know, I, in, in all fairness, and to be honest with you guys, this is like another uh, topic for uh, another day, but I'm just going to fill you in just a little bit to, you know, give you guys a brief orientation of our relationship and why we are where we are today and I wasn't ready you know I was still caught up in the street life and uh, T she's um, she's never been a kid to me never been a kid woman child I swear to God anyway um, I wasn't ready and she was and she supported me in ways that you know, uh, I believe that if the shoe was on the other foot, I probably would have left because of the mind state that I was in. Remember, these are in my teen years, but she's she's been through a lot, you know, and I and I and I knew this, and um, it's something I feel real bad about. And we got over it, you know what I mean. But long story short, I know that when she's committed to someone, she's committed to them. And I appreciate that about her. And you know, just meeting her that 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 day, I never thought it would blossom into this. But anyway, we'll get to some more stuff about, you know, our journey through life and why we're here today. So, um <clears throat> Life start life and again, and <laughs> I went on about my business yeah. and my life, and we split apart, and he went on about his life and his business and did what he did. Um, in that time, I uh, met my first husband, and I had another child, so that gives me three children now. I have two sons and one daughter, and that was a really healthy relationship. I learned a lot. We did a lot together. And unfortunately, in 2019, he passed away from a heart condition, and man, I was super devastated. I, I, there's no other way that I can put it. I was devastated. Um, I had no idea of what I was going to do next. I had been with him for 22 years. Our son, at the time that he passed, was in his senior year. Um, that was like a super sensitive, important year for him, for us. We had a lot of plans, and he passed away suddenly. 
and life was completely changed after that. And um, then, yeah, I really do feel bad about that. You know what I mean? Nobody has to, you know. But nobody should have to go through life experiencing, you know, watching someone who they really care about and love kind of like, you know, you know, do whatever, you know, I don't know. It's yeah, kinda hard to talk it's about. a lot. It's a lot. And it was a lot for me. It was a lot for my son. It was a lot for my immediate family, my other two children. Um, and... I don't know, then all of a sudden, here comes <laughs> me again, <laughs> for the I'm third time, right? I'm just thinking around right? cold or something. <laughs> when the cold you can't get rid of, you yeah. try everything in the book, every remedy, you still can't shake it. So here he comes again for the third time in my life. Third time to try. Third time. So here I'm now 51. Oh, yeah, I was 51. I was 51. Wow, that tells my age. But anyway, we got together again, and this time, yeah. he got his stuff together. Yeah, I'm on point like an icicle. Right. I have to say. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got plenty of more stuff, or we got plenty of more stuff to bring you and stuff like that. And then sometimes you may see me in front of the camera without her, just like you may see her in front of the camera without me. It doesn't mean that we're at odds or anything like that. It just means that life has took us for this turn right here, and then we'll come back together. But anyway, long story short, um, yeah, we, we got a lot to bring. Yeah, so that's how we met, and that's kind of like bringing you guys up to date with where we are now. Again, we are married now, and we're going <laughs> to bring y'all some footage on our marriage, uh, and yeah. <laughs> that's another journey of mm -hmm. how all things mm -hmm. went, but all in all, we had a beautiful wedding. Yes, we put the rings on it, yeah. and um, yeah, so we... Uh, had three three go rounds, and this is our yeah. third go round. Third we never thought round. that we would be married totally all together. It was forty two years, yeah. forty two years of knowing each other, bringing us to this point that we are today, sitting in front of all the guys, <laughs> our YouTubers, our YouTube, our subscribers, yeah. and don't forget to ring that bell. Yeah, that don't like. forget. And that Tap subscribe. that bell and subscribe and of course give us some comments. Let us know what you guys think about our videos. You know, talking about our relationship and how we met and stuff like that, it kind of like brings me to this right here. You guys are participants in us growing in this channel, so kind of like we're marrying you. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> hopefully one day we'll have right. an anniversary. Right, yeah, that's good stuff, yeah. So anyway, again, this gives us time to talk to one another, dialogue, communicate, get out some of those subjects and conversations that we may not even get a chance to talk about, but we take this time to spend with each other and to spend with you guys. So again, and, comment. Uh, one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> This also gives me the chance to express my opinion without getting it from her first. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> he always say I give him his opinion. She does. And well, everybody that's married know it's true. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> good stuff. So, thanks again for watching. Again, subscribe, comment. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And we out. Peace. Peace. Okay.